as you can see, there's a four inch drainage tile that's, that's recommended on every wall. And the amount of drainage that, that is required on the wall is gonna vary per site. Typically, it's a four inch drainage tile, um, perforated PVC, that's daylighted every 50 feet. If there's a, a high volume of water or poor soil conditions, then, then that may change. But that, that will all be spelled out in the engineered drawings. Typically between the, the first and second course of block, you're just gonna notch out the corner of the block and, and get your pipe to, to daylight through. Now if you have a parking lot in front and you have a drainage system that you can tie into, um, you can put the, the drainage system under the wall and tie into, into that drainage system and that will prevent any icing at that spot. The filter fabric typically goes uh, under your base block and it, it runs up behind the wall. Um, and that's the, the four inch drainage pipe that typically goes on you know, between your first and second course of block. But that elevation is gonna be determined by the grade in front. Um, so you wanna, you wanna get the elevation of that pipe as close to that front grade as you can to, to maximize the amount of drainage. If you're at a certain height limit, you have to have a safety harness, chain yourself to a block. Um, can't be below five feet. You'd need a trench box, but you can't. You'd have to slope your trenches. We didn't have to do that here. Have to wear your hard hats. Nice vest so everyone can see you. And make sure the machine guy can see you. That's a big thing. Because he's watching, swinging the blocks.